there are two basic types of chemical formulas, molecular formulas and empirical formulas. In a molecular formula, the actual number of atoms in the compound is shown directly in the chemical formula, whereas with an empirical formula, only the ratio of the atoms found in the compound are shown. Now an empirical formula is always used for ionic compounds because we're dealing with large crystal lattice structures, but either type of formula can be used with molecular compounds. In the table at the bottom, it shows several examples of empirical formulas versus molecular formulas. In the compound ethanol, both the empirical formula and the molecular formula are the same, but in ethane, the molecular formula is C2H6, and the empirical formula is the ratio of those atoms, and the 2 to 6 ratio is also the same thing as a 1 to 3 ratio, so we would write the empirical formula as CH3. When calculating empirical formulas and molecular formulas, there is a simple set of steps to follow. The first thing that we will need to do is convert the unit that's given into moles. Usually grams will be given, and we can simply change that from grams to moles. And sometimes a percent composition will be given, and you can just take the percent sign and change it to grams, and then convert the grams to moles. Once you have both elements in the unit of moles, then you need to determine the mole ratio. And so to determine the ratio, you want to divide by the smallest number of moles. If you're solving for empirical formula, you can simply stop here because the empirical formula is the same as the mole ratio of the atoms. But if you're asked to solve for molecular formula, there are a couple more steps you have to do. First thing you're going to want to do is calculate the mass of that empirical formula. And then you'll want to compare the molecular formula mass to the empirical formula mass. Since the molecular formula shows the actual number of atoms and the empirical formula shows the ratio, the molecular formula mass divided by the empirical formula mass will always produce a whole number. Then we take that whole number and multiply it times the empirical formula. That will give us our molecular formula. Here's an example for calculating empirical formula. Analysis of a 15.50 gram sample of a compound known to contain only nitrogen and oxygen indicates a nitrogen content of 4.04 grams. What is the empirical formula of the compound? So based on the steps that I gave you on the previous slide, the first thing we need to do is determine the number of moles of both the nitrogen and the oxygen. Since we're given that the nitrogen content is 4.04, we'll start there. So 4.04 grams of nitrogen, and we can convert to moles by dividing by the molar mass of nitrogen. Remember the molar mass of nitrogen is 14.01 grams per mole. Dividing these two numbers gives us a value of 0.29 moles. Since I know that the compound only contains nitrogen and oxygen, I can subtract 15.50, because that's the total mass of the sample, minus the mass of the nitrogen, and that will give me the mass of the oxygen, or 11.46 grams. And now that I know the mass of the oxygen, I can convert that into moles. So again, I need to divide by the molar mass of oxygen, which is 16 grams per mole. And that gives me a value for the oxygen of 0 0.72 moles. So now that I have the moles, I need to divide those numbers by the smallest mole. So 0.29 is smaller than 0.72. So I'm going to divide both of these by 0.29. This gives me 1. And this gives me about two and a half. After I divide by the smallest number, those numbers are what goes in my chemical formula. So N1O2.5. The problem with this is that I can't have a fraction as a subscript in a chemical formula. So since this is a half, I can multiply this times two and get a chemical formula of N2O5. A two to five ratio is the lowest ratio of elements I can have in that compound. So N2O5 is my empirical formula. Here's an example for calculating molecular formulas. A compound with a formula mass of 42.08 AMU is found to be 85.64% carbon and 14.36% hydrogen by mass. Find its molecular formula. Remember, if I'm given percent composition, I can simply change those percentages to grams. Instead of saying 85.64%, I can just say 85.64 grams of carbon. Similarly, with the hydrogen, 
I can say 14.36 grams of hydrogen. Then I need to convert each of these grams to moles. Convert by dividing by the molar mass. The molar mass of carbon is 12.01. And that gives me 7.13 moles. Converting hydrogen by dividing by the molar mass of hydrogen. Hydrogen is 1.01 .01 grams. And this gives me a value of 14.22 moles. Step two is to divide by the smallest number of moles. So seven is smaller than 14. So I'm going to divide both of these by 7.13. That gives me one. Dividing this by 7.13 gives me two. These numbers, the one and the two, we can use to write my empirical formula. So the empirical formula for the compound is CH2. But this problem doesn't want the empirical formula, it wants the molecular formula. So I need to continue with a couple more steps. The next step is to determine the mass of this compound. So the mass of this empirical formula is 14.03. Then I compare the formula mass that was given in the problem to that empirical formula mass that I just calculated. So the mass of the molecular formula divided by the mass of the empirical formula will give me a number. The mass of the molecular formula was given in the problem as 42.08. The mass of the empirical formula I just calculated to be 14.03. And these two divided out gives me 3. In order to determine the molecular formula, I take the empirical formula times 3. This gives me a final answer of C3H6, and that is the molecular formula of the compound I'm solving for.